Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dr. Julio Navoa. I'm here at the supermarket. Today I'm taking a day off. Uh, I, it's hard for me to imagine how, how difficult it is right now, let alone what it's going to be like in a couple weeks related to this coronavirus. Um, so anyway, I'm here at the supermarket. I've recommended that um, everybody stay at home and at least one person be uh, designated as the person to go get groceries. So because my wife is home with the baby and my kids with uh, home with their, their mom, I'm the one going to grocery shop for, for, for my house. And of course, I've got an N95 mask. Most people don't have that um, level of quality. But at this point, um, I'm ended at anybody that's out and about wear some type of uh, mask, even if it's a do-it-yourself. Um, I'm also got gloves because I think it's important. Hand sanitizer. I've got my list of uh, groceries, and um, I'm going. I'm going to go into the supermarket now. Luckily, this one's not too full, and it won't be too much of a problem. Uh, the reason that I'm, I'm making this video is because a lot of uh, patients, uh, eShore patients, Felshi Clips, um, any of the groups that have uh, implants in have got, are really, really worried about this coronavirus and what the effect will be on them. And we don't have a lot of information about about what effect it could have because we just don't have the data yet. But um, Empirically, this is the situation. If you have a foreign body in your body, you're at an autoimmune compromised state. If you're autoimmune compromised and you're showing specifically systemic symptoms, such as the migraine headaches, hair falling out, um, uh, brain fog, uh, excessive weight gain, um, the variety of lists that we're talking about, not only with Eshore, but with, I mean, dental problems, all of those things. Uh, then you're autoimmune compromised and therefore your risk of having a problem as a high-risk patient goes up, obviously. So I've, I've been asked questions about, well, I have asthma or my kids have asthma. Are you at a high risk? It, we're thinking that, yes, you are at a higher risk. If you have any history of a lung heart problem, you're at higher risk. If you're, uh, over, if you're overweight um, and considered obese, you have a higher risk problem, diabetes, hypothyroidism, um, lupus, Sjogren syndrome, uh, 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 syndrome, I'm sorry. Uh, any of those, you're at higher risk. And therefore, it's recommended that especially if you're over the age of uh, 40 to 50, that you have someone else go out and get the supplies that you need for your home. And just stay home as much as you can. If you can stay home, stay home. Most people don't understand that this is going to get much worse over the next couple of weeks. These numbers are going to be escalating. They have been escalating in a linear fashion. Uh, it's almost, it's possible that it'll go exponentially. That means that they'll double every couple of days. And so the best thing to do is to stay home. If you can't stay home, have one person designated to go out, have that person uh, fully masked, gloves, hand sanitizer, and stay out as, as short a time as possible. This is very, very important. Uh, hopefully, everyone understands the severity of the situation and also understands that the, that the age groups are no longer immune. That means that people in their, uh, in their 20s are getting sick. People in their 30s and 40s are more susceptible. And of those in people in their 50s and above are the uh, most susceptible to the particular uh, complications of the virus. So take home message. One person goes out, whatever type of facial protection you can use, gloves, hand sanitizer, and if you have any type of medical condition, you're at a higher risk of a potential issue with coronavirus, specifically if you have an autoimmune problem, if you have a lung, heart history, and any of the other uh, conditions that I've mentioned. Please be very, very careful when you're out and about. Please ask someone else if they're, if they're in a healthier than you to go about uh, shopping and doing the necessities of life, to, uh, but stay home if you can. I'm under the impression that in the next day or so, the president and the CDC will announce a more stricter guidelines, especially with the use of uh, uh, mass protection.
You take care. Be safe. God bless everybody. Bye.